Hey people, Mike Martins here with the Mike Martins channel. Absolutely breathtaking, gorgeous day here in Penticton, British Columbia. Just here with the family, enjoying this. Just absolutely breathtaking. Anyways, so somebody sent me an email asking me, Mike, what do you think of the whole Georgia Guidestone thing? We did a whole Georgia Guidestone video thing several times on this channel and kind of talking and kind of pointing out the different mandates that they want to see the world that's car alarm for like two kilometers away they want to check for like the mandates that they're mandating for the world or what kind of what these elites are hoping for to accomplish to have a better sustainable world in their perspective well here's the thing and we've been very vocal about this on this channel extremely vocal we discussed infrastructure and the maintenance of the infrastructure Let's say there's 7 billion people on Earth. I believe 1 billion of those people maintain the infrastructure. Or maintaining it without knowing they're maintaining it, right? Uh, keeping their homes up kept, keep getting their lawns cut, uh, shoveling their snow, very basic things. But it goes into people walking, working out water treatment facilities, electric companies, uh, people maintaining the, the electrical grid, the lines and... The, uh, the plumbers and, and, and I mean it goes on and on the g people that pick up the garbage the people, the architects that make sure that these buildings are maintained and infrastructure is sound who's going to maintain that like I mean just a, a small city like this you need a lot of maintenance you need a lot of people maintaining the infrastructure now let's talk facts here on the Georgia Guidestones, they want to maintain the population to about 500 million, which will be unmanageable, they believe, in their eyes. If they did that, we would probably have to evacuate 80% of all cities because there would, be, there would be unsustainably impossible to live in because there would be no maintenance in the infrastructure. Everything will crumble and fall apart without it being maintained. Right, okay, okay. Like, very basically, if your garbage doesn't get picked up for a week, it, it becomes a problem. Two weeks, it's a headache. Three weeks, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. Look what's happening in France with the protests. They're not, you know, public servants aren't going out picking up the garbage, and it's piling up. It happened in Italy back in, I think it was 2009 and 10. They went on strike. The public servants and the garbage was piling up in parts of Italy because they refused to, to work for free, right? So what is happening, well, a lot is happening, folks. So for them to go ahead and state that 500 million people on the earth will be manageable, what about the airports? What about the train stations, bus stations? What about public transit? What about everyone that maintains this infrastructure that actually, you, you can't do it on 500 million. I guess what I'm trying to say in this video is you can't run the world with 500 million people. The amount of cities alone and the amount of you know what I'm saying the highways and uh, they all need maintenance right so how much of the world needs to, okay let me get let me throw this out for you how much of the world needs to be in total evacu uh, how much of the world needs to be evacuated into specific concentrated zones for a population of 500 million I'm thinking like 70% of the world needs to basically be abandoned if you want to maintain a population of 500 million because that's not much right so i mean I, okay maybe the whole world's population could live in just south america alone if they wanted to do something like well no that won't be enough people to me yeah it will it will be enough people to maintain the infrastructure for everybody else but if it was just south america alone you, you know what i mean so that's one two if they do want to get regulated down to 500 million, what, I mean, they're going to have to cut 90%, 80%, of how much services are they going to have to cut if they want to keep all these cities and different towns still habitable? And if there's no one habitable or these towns or cities not become, become unhabitable or no one's living in them, they're open for the taking from other, other, other cultures or other, what, you know what I'm saying, will be taken and and recolonized right anyways 500 million uh, it, it won't work it's just unfeasible 
main, continuing with the maintaining of what we have already infrastructured and built in just in the northern hemisphere alone so let me know what you guys think in the comments below 500 population 500 million population georgia guidestones it's a myth it's it's fairy tale it won't work mike martin's here i have spoken